Welcome back to bazookatraining.com here in the bag workout section. Today, we're changing things up a little bit. I'm aware during COVID and a lot of times where it was hard to get into gyms, a lot of people bought these water bags and don't know how to use them properly. It's slightly different than a hanging bag because we have some movement. However, these are very valuable tools. Even for the most advanced fighters on the planet, this will help give you a good workout. It might be different, but this is the kind of style you do need to develop. It's about adapting and this is the great bag to learn it. Okay, so let's get into our first workout. And today we're focusing on the standing bag or the water bag, whoever you want to call it for boxing. Okay. Now the first thing we're going to work on is our straight punches, but I need you to be aware these drills aren't meant for you to punch this thing so hard and try to knock the bag down. Right? What I want you to start working is full extension. You can be punching hard and fast, boom, 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 but I just want you just nicking the bag, okay? Just getting your gloves to touch. So that's the first drill of this whole thing. Standing in front of your bag and just working your straight punches, right? Now for this drill, I don't want you being stationary where you can touch it. You need to be one step to your target, okay? So right now I can't touch my bag. One step in where I can get full extension and then I can step out. Full extension and step out, okay? Now this is the start, finding this nice long range, changing the angles of your punches. Sometimes vertical, sometimes horizontal, one step in. Now, now that you found your straight punch range, now it's time to circle around the bag, right? This is the best part. We're gonna use that triangle step to start moving around our bag nicely, okay? So I throw any straight punch. Now, for the drill of straights, I like to teach you to throw your straight punches in three. It just keeps you focused, all right? So I can maybe go, I, let's say one to three, okay? One to three strike. So I can move around, single jab, okay? I can go double jab. I can even do a triple jab, one, two, three, okay? Then I can start building my one, two, ones, right? I can build in my one, one, twos, exit and move, all right? So try to get punches from ones to threes using your movement and building in some of your fainting on the outside, but really forcing yourselves to get that full extension and snapping punches on the outside, all right? Now, for those who are a little unsure, this is a stationary bag. We want to move around it. So when you punch, okay, as you're done your combination, come back to a neutral stance. This way you can circle left and right quick around your bag, right? You can circle fast when you're in a neutral stance. So straight punches, nice and long, exit out and circle around the bag. So this is how you use your outside movement on the bag. Now those are my advanced fighters. Perfect, from here you can come around, switch your stances, okay? Start making sure you circle in different directions, practice your left and right circling, okay? So it's beautiful, right? Now, even as we start developing, now the beautiful thing about this bag is, it's the size of a torso from the head to the, the basically your hips. So let's start building in level changing. So now we're gonna focus on inside fighting, right? First round long. Now we're focusing on getting inside the bag, okay? Now from here, we're gonna work on our level changing. Now, even when I'm in that nice range, I'm just touching upstairs, boom, to snap the body. Touch upstairs, rip the body, touch upstairs, rip the body. Now you can rip the bodies in singles, doubles, but I also want you to go in opposite. So using your jab to set up your rear side, or I might use my jab to set up the same side hook or cross sets up an inside hook as well. Also, you need to play with round hooks versus shovel hooks, okay? And hooks to the head. So staying inside your bag, you're gonna go straight punches to body shots, and then the body shot sets up the head shot. So movement first, okay? In range now, so nice high guard head movement. We can't be so relaxed, we're in range now. So we're a little bit tighter here, using fainting, okay? My straight punches upstairs, it's gonna set up the body punches, which is gonna set up the head shot, okay? Moving, fainting, getting my head, circling around the bag, set up the body shot, go back to the head. Now after you attack and go back to the head, create an angle change, start circling around your bag. So fainting, head movement, okay? Punches upstairs, sets up body attacking, go back to the head, and then change angles, okay? 
boom, boom, bang. Come in, change an angle, boom, bang, okay? Very good, all right? So, you've seen first round one, we started long, boom. Round two, we came inside, setting up that body shots, okay? The head shots, but now, we're gonna have to mix the two. And that's where you learn to develop that flow. Now, a lot of times range is controlled by your opponent's movement, but why I really like this type of bag work is I need to control my range, right? I have to decide, am I gonna be fighting inside? Am I gonna be fighting outside, okay? So for this round here, what I want you to do is I want you to think of this concept and we're gonna put it together as a formula. We're gonna start on the outside like we would on any fight. You're gonna use your fainting, boom, your straight punches on the outside in movement, okay? Once your fainting is good, you're finding your snapping straight punches. What I want you to do now is use these straight punches to come inside to throw a head body head combination on the inside and then you're gonna create an angle and exit out, right? That's the ultimate combination we wanna work. Us controlling range, us adapting with distance and us deciding when we wanna go in. But only go in when you're ready. If you're not ready to go into an attack, don't go on the inside, stay outside. If you're tired, just stay on the outside. Keep fainting, touching, level changing. When you're ready, boom, come inside, attack, boom, come back in, move your head, move your feet, and then come back in, okay? Using your fainting, circling, long punches, come inside, boom, create your exit, all right? Now, I'll give you a nice little concept for my advanced fighters, okay? A beautiful concept for my advanced fighters, okay, is going to be using your shifting from the outside, okay? So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stay long here. When I'm ready, I'm gonna shift and then come back out. So I stay here nice and long, I shift in, and then I move my feet. I'll stay orthodox here, I'll shift, and then I'll start maybe using my straight punches, set up my shifting, okay? That's one of the more higher level drills we work with our fighters here, okay? On the outside, long range, sets up our shifts, okay? And then we can either stay on this side here, back out to orthodox and repeat, or we can stay in that opposite stance and work our shifting from both stances, okay? So there's something for everyone to understand, all right? Now, quick little review here. This standing bag, this water bag, very valuable tool, okay? The ability to stay long, to work on extending your strikes, hit and move, circling, very, very valuable, okay? It's too much time focus on how hard we hit and then we jam our punches, we get tired. Working this type of footwork, this type of extension, long range technique to understand good footwork on the inside, stability to focus levels. You can see how you can create a really good fight, a great workout, and a workout that's gonna really help you learn a lot, all right? Hope you enjoyed today's lesson. We'll see you next time here at bazookatraining.com. Welcome to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA Online Training. I'm Bazooka Joe Valtellini, the owner here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Over the past year, I've designed and created a website to teach Bazooka curriculum at home and across the world. The purpose of this website is for you to one, hit your fitness and health goals, all while learning world-class martial arts instruction from me. The beautiful thing about this website, it's geared for all levels. So if you're learning martial arts for the first time as a beginner, we help you progress into the bigger stages. And if you're a pro fighter, guess what? We have different fight concepts for you to improve your tool set and your skills in the ring or cage. As the fastest rising kickboxing world champion and a lifelong martial artist with over 30 years of experience, I've been able to combine my passion for martial arts and teaching to create this website. This website's gonna give you some of the tricks, secrets, and inside look at some of the training I use to win my world title. Once you subscribe to this site, you're gonna be getting weekly training videos and tutorials that you can do from anywhere. The sections are broken up into three parts. The first is bag workout. So if you have a bag at home or at your gym, you can use these workouts to supplement your training. The second is at home workouts. A lot of us don't have the room for a bag or a bag in general, so these workouts are for no equipment needed and you can do them anywhere. And finally, the tutorial section. If you're having any problems with a specific technique or fight concept that's covered in any of the workouts, go to the tutorial section, learn the technique, and then go back to the workout, and this time, do it with proper technique. 
One of the added benefits once you subscribe is the forum section where you can get a more personalized experience where you can ask questions and I'll be able to go in there and answer them. It's all about building a team and a community of martial artists helping each other grow. So subscribe now to get access to all the videos plus more so you can be part of the squad here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA.